This is how you stall in Rocket League Sideswipe. I personally am not that great at doing so, so I'm going to have my friend Wallaby here uh, explain it in this video. If you guys enjoy, go shoot him some love on Twitch, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, Wallaby here. So I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a uh, essentially stall flip reset in the air. Um, there's, it's been explained up to a certain point f fairly consistently, but there's a portion, essentially the timing portion, that has not really been explained very well. So what I'm going to be showing you is obviously to start, you want the bottom of your car or e essentially the bottom and top of your car horizontal with the ground, with the top of your car facing where the ball is in the air, right? Just like that. Then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be air rolling and flipping to where you stall upwards, right? Um, but the timing of that can be kind of a little bit difficult. So essentially what you're going to be doing, if you look at the car here, you look at the dominance, right? Let's get a little bit closer so we can see where the wheel is kind of facing out. So that side of the car, essentially the, uh, the sides of your car, uh, you're going to be wanting that to be vertical up and down with the ground. That's when you're going to be timing your flip. So when you go into the air, vertical, boom, you're flipping, right? Vertical. Oh, I did a little bit early that time, right? So you vertical flip essentially like that so if i bring the ball into the air right okay boom boom right you essentially you're waiting until it's coming vertical with the ground that way you can then get the timing completely right and that's how you're going to do it you actually don't have to let go of air roll if you get the timing correct uh when you're underneath the ball going at a consistent rate you can actually just do it all the way uh, and then you have to be careful if you hit it too late like I did right there uh, it will purple shot so if you just you don't have to see if you notice as long as you're underneath the ball correctly you do not have to actually stop air rolling hope that helps